On the road to reopening now, theaters have been dark since last spring, but now the spotlight's on a new plan that could allow shows to move outdoors. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports. Bringing hope to performers and lovers of the arts, Jenna Van Elslander and her troupe of dancers have been filming socially distant shows in Times Square every weekend called the TSQ Project. People want to see that life and the energy and, and the hope that art and performance brings. It's been seven months since the pandemic closed the curtain on all performances. Now struggling artists are hopeful the city council will pass a new bill allowing arts and cultural groups to apply for free permits to use public outdoor spaces. Do it now! <laughs> Please do it now. Similar to the city's open streets program, which allows restaurants to operate on sidewalks, this would be called open culture, allowing performers to apply for permits to do their thing in plazas, parks, parking lots, and street corners. If we don't do something drastic to give them the opportunity to perform and to bring in revenue, uh, many in our cultural community will cease to exist. The Met Opera announced it won't be reopening for another year. Broadway is closed until at least 2021, and comedy clubs are on pause until further notice. New York City's cultural sector is one of the largest industries in the world, and it is the backbone of New York City's economy, employing over 400,000 workers, paying over $30 billion in wages per year, and generating more than $110 billion in economic activity. Some performers have already been previewing what outdoor shows could look like. Trying to bring joy to New York and show everybody that we are here, we are alive. And that the show can go on outdoors. In Times Square, Natalie Dedridge, CBS 2 News.